MizzouSoutheast.com. Joined now by head coach Steve Beezer and coach. Great win for your program on Tuesday at Mizzou. Uh, why don't you talk a little bit uh, about the victory? Uh, it's a huge victory for our program. Of course, any any games that we can win right now are big wins for us. We need to get on a solid roll and finish out the season strong. So, uh, you know, the, the game against Mizzou, I thought it was a well-played game. Both teams battled. Uh, it, it was a great game to watch because there was offense involved and there was some very strategic pitching involved in it as well with we got out uh, up on top, and uh, Mizzou comes back and scores and takes the lead, and we got to come back and score, and it went back and forth for a little bit. So very exciting game. Uh, and, and the good thing that it shows us is that we can compete. When we go out and play a solid baseball game and play well, we can compete with uh, you know any team out there. Now the Red Hawks have beaten uh, the Tigers four of the last six times, and also uh, the lo- three of the four wins have been home runs in the last inning. Uh, talk about how uh, great it was to kind of re- renew that rivalry. The, the rivalry is very key for our program. I feel that uh, one of the things I wanted to do was make sure that we played uh, all the Division One schools uh, in the state of Missouri. And, you know, we all, t- oh, we all use it as bragging rights uh, when we go out recruiting and, and talking to uh, our recruits. And it's something that, uh, that shows that we're on the same level, that we can compete with the, with the rest of the schools in the state of Missouri. And just to kind of keep that rivalry going, to play it each year, uh, you know, go to Columbia and have a, have a great showing. Our, our players get extremely pumped to go up and play an SEC school and, and that venue that they have there, you know, outstanding field, outstanding setting. Uh, that, that's, that's an exciting opportunity for our guys. Now, on Monday night, uh, another great night for your team. At the uh, Scholar Athlete Night, you were very well represented. Uh, how proud are you of uh, your student athletes out there um, earning Scholar Athlete and then also um, um, OVC Medal of Honor winner Jason Bloom? We're, we're very proud of our guys for what they do in the classroom. Uh, it's, it's stressed uh, every single day uh, that we come out and we practice. We, we talk about taking care of uh, you know, the complete package, the academics, the student athlete. And, and our guys take it to heart, and they want to, they want to succeed in the classroom as much as they want to succeed on the field. So we want our guys to continue to work hard in the classroom. Uh, our team GPA in the first semester was a, was a 3 two, five, right in that range, and, and that's something that, that we strive to kind of keep it right up in that, that uh, GPA range. Now this weekend you head to Murray State for a, kind of a key series for you guys. Uh, Going to be fighting, the, fighting kind of the weather a little bit, but uh, what do you know about the, the thoroughbreds? Uh, they're gonna, you know, they're gonna compete against us very well. They they really swing the bats well and and uh, put up a lot of runs and and they and they hope that you know just like we do, we hope our pitching holds up. They hope their pitching holds up and and it could be one of those uh, series where we go in and whoever sw- is swinging the bat the best at, at the time is going to come out on top in that series. But it's always a competitive series for us and it's always a tough series when we have to go to Murray uh, and play on their home field. But uh, I know our guys are excited. They they know what's at stake. Uh, we need to win some games this weekend and put ourselves in a good position for the OVC tournament, and and that's exactly what's what's kind of on our plate, and that's what we're trying to do. Now, at Mizzou on Tuesday, very well represented fan base for the Red Hawks, and this weekend I'm sure you'll have another uh, well represented fan base uh, with Murray just right down the road. How uh, big is that for your team to know that they have a big fan base uh, cheering them on at a road game? It's, it's huge. I think it's for, huge for any player, but our guys especially, they really feed well off of, uh, you know, off of good crowds, off of uh, cheering, and just getting them pumped. I, I see that whenever we have big crowds on the weekend. We seem to come out, and we're, we're excited to play, and we want to kind of prove ourselves in front of, in front of a nice crowd. And, and I'm sure we'll have an outstanding showing that's going to follow us to Murray. Uh, it's, you know, it's kind of a regional rival for us. It's, it's close. It's just right down the road, and, and uh, we'll get a lot of fans out there and a lot of support, and hopefully that, that's, what help, that's a key to helping pick us up uh, to have a great weekend. All right, well, best of luck this weekend, and thanks for your time. Joined now right, by outfielder Derek Gibson, and Derek had a great month of April, top the OVC in hitting. Uh, talk a little bit about kind of your season uh, thus far. You know, it's been a lot of fun, and, you know, I think we, we came in with high expectations, new coaching staff, and, you know, we really believe in our players and our staff and everybody in the administration, and, we wanted to come in and do all we could to win as many games as we could. And we, our main goal was to come and work hard every day and just be consistent. And, uh, you know, I think we've we've done it up to this point. And our record's not what exactly what we want it to be right now, but we're really confident in what we have moving forward and really looking forward to the next month. Now talk about the uh, thrill of beating a uh, Mizzou and SEC team last week um, on Tuesday. And talk a little bit about uh, your day, three for five at the plate. First at bat, you get an inside the park home run, first one in, since 2010. Talk a little bit about the thrill of uh, beating Mizzou. You know, it was a great experience. We went in there with 
you know, nothing to lose attitude. And we knew that we had what it took to win. And, you know, it was a midweek game. We knew that anything could happen if we went in and jumped on them early. And, you know, it was one of those things where we were really confident in our arms and everybody was expecting two or three innings apiece. And, you know, we just went in and jumped on them early. And I felt like we just kind of stayed with it. They, they came back a couple times and we came back. and. You know, it was it was just a great experience. You always grow up wanting to play at Mizzou, you know, wanting to play for a, a big school like that. And, you know, to go in with our squad, it, it was a really good feeling, something we'll never forget. Now, looking ahead, you got Murray State this weekend. You got Tennessee Tech to close out uh, the OVC season. Then you host Memphis. Uh, kind of what, what are you guys kind of striving for here the last couple weeks of the regular season? You know, we just want to finish strong. And I think, you know, at the beginning of the year, obviously the goal is to win the OVC regular season. And, you know, now it looks like we're kind of – kind of out of the running for that but you know we want to finish strong and hopefully you know get that fifth or sixth seed in the tournament and then just go from there we know that this club anything can happen we bring our game we're extremely confident in what we have and you know we believe each and every day and I'm just really confident that we can go out and finish strong against Murray this weekend and tech the next weekend and you know once you get in that tournament anything could happen you win four games and it can completely change your whole year so we're we're really optimistic about these next month now, talk a little bit about the team. You guys seem very loose, uh, very very team-oriented. Uh, talk a little bit about the, the team this year. Well, you know, this team, we came in, and we knew that we weren't going to have one star. We knew that we had a lot of guys that had a lot of talent. And, you know, we lost two big guys last year. Of course, you know, Moses and Parm was gone. We didn't have those two big studs, you know. And I think we came in just relying on each other. And we really trust this coaching staff. And we really trust each other as players. And, you know, I think that that's kind of been our whole attitude. We, have, you know, we we know that we we've given everything we've got. We work hard every day, and and you know, we just kind of get on the field. And we play loose, like you said. And we have we have nothing to lose. We just get out there and we let the chips fall. I think that's really helped us this year. All right, Derek. Well, best of luck this weekend and the rest of the year. And uh, thanks for your time. Thanks, Nick. Appreciate it.